Welcome back everybody to a new series that I will be starting on my YouTube channel, which involves me reviewing you guys' demos. I know I just did a demo review about BCKO, but that was just a warm up for you guys to be coming into the new series. I had to do some jokes here. I posted this over a month ago where I said, do you feel like you're at a low rank because of bad teammates? Do you think you're stuck at ELO hell? Let me see if that's true. So I had you guys reply with your face and names and have me pick someone to coach for free and give you some tips on how to play better and possibly improve. And hopefully you guys uh, will get a new face at level. So I'm going to be picking someone who's not like a high level yet because the higher people get in levels, the harder it is to just pinpoint the mistakes. Like it's a lot easier to coach someone that makes a lot of mistakes than it is to coach someone that makes barely any mistakes. But it certainly wouldn't be a mistake to check out today's sponsor of the video, which is going to be Buff Market. Buff Market has been produced by the same people that made Buff 163, which is currently the biggest marketplace in Counter-Strike skins by far right now. Now they're offering a early bird commission. Now this is one of the lowest commissions out of all the sites out there right now and this action is going to last for the next 83 days or whenever this video comes out and you even get a bonus which means if you sell a lot of items on their site that commission is going to be extended for a longer period of time the marketplace has a bunch of filters that you can apply you know the basic filters which are on any site the quality the exterior the category the color but also advanced filters which includes the sticker that has been applied all the way up to 2014 kerawitsu stickers and the site also has a very cool feature where you can bargain for a price so let's say this item is listed for for $48,000, well, the best I could do is $3. Okay, well, there is a minimum price. The site accepts Visa, MasterCard, bank cards in over 30 countries. And don't worry about it not being secure. The site has been endorsed by NetEase, which is one of the largest video Whoa. game companies in the world. And probably the coolest feature that they have on this site, which I have not seen before with any other site, is that they have an app where you can trade, you know, anytime, anywhere, on any device. You can also withdraw balance using the app. So that means you don't even have to sit behind your PC to do the trading and to do the money. So if you guys want to support me as a content creator, Creator, make sure to check out Buff Market. I really endorse their site. I think they're one of the best sponsors that we had on the channel. As always, link will be in the description and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I think I'm gonna be uh, picking this guy. He's a level six enjoyer from Ukraine. Generally playing solo, always calm, playing on positive, but sometimes my random mates tilted for no reason. And me as well after a few routes. I'm trying to communicate, but others not. Help me to understand what if I'm the problem. I don't think he's the problem. All right, so let's see. Dimitri Ancient, level seven currently. And he actually has the quote for BCKO here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're going to be picking a very recent game. And actually, I could pick a Dust 2 game. It's a loss. There's probably a lot of mistakes being made. And it's a fairly balanced game as well. A bunch of level sevens. They got two level eights. Or actually, those two level eights are on your team. All right, I'm really curious. I like Dust 2 demos because, you know, as you guys know, I'm a Dust 2 professional. So I'm going to be giving you guys loads of tips on how to play Dust 2 better. And I like this. He's got the weed level 10 clad side. And he's got a picture of a cat. This proves very good stuff. Okay, I'm guessing the entire team is Russian. Otherwise, you wouldn't be speaking Russian. I saw your English was pretty good on the comment. This is nice. This is actually now also interesting for the Russian viewers under us. And it's going to be a Mac 10 buy. And it already looks like Davai Rojbe. Gets a pick on the cross, which is nice. That normally indicates there's only one on B. Oh, cheeky flash. I like this. There's low aggression there. You know he's hiding behind that smoke. I mean, there's three cities left. No way they're not hiding behind this smoke. He checks it. Okay, good. Smoking Xbox. Yeah, it's smoke. Okay, he's got the Xbox smoke lineup. I see it. One mid, one Okay, you're going very wide here. This is the first thing where I'm first thing where I'm seeing like, okay, that was kind of odd. I mean, it was gonna be a mid to B, but Mr. Senpai, I think he misspelled this. Smokes mid to B, and he goes out with you. Now, what he also could have done, throw a flash towards mid to B. You also had a flash, but you would get entrying. I mean, you could have also used the molly to uh, flush out this corner. Again, it's just nade lineups. But I think Mirai could have flashed mid to B, so you would have a, a cleaner peek towards CT, and you wouldn't get traded out. Because right now, the guy from uh, mid to B can just swing in and get uh, the trade back real quickly, and even get the other guy. So your team actually does get into the B side, and at this point, it's pretty winnable. Maybe maybe. 
Nice, Nate usage. Actually, he has another Nate. Could Maybe throw it. Side. Yep. Nice. And another flash. Oh. I like this. They are using a utility. Crossfire isn't really set up. And they end up losing a round. Alright. He needs a flash for long. He wants it. There's smoke in Xbox. Again, I don't know what you're trying to achieve here. You're trying to get, like, uh, just a lucky 50-50 fight. Your teammates have flashes. Could have asked for a flash. Like, the vai flash long blit for a blin. I'm sorry. Because right now, if you're just going out long like this, you're making it a 50-50. Like, if you know there's only one long and you want to go and kill him, have your teammate come with you so he can actually trade you out. You shoot him, you only hit two bullets. Your teammate's also gonna hit two bullets. You both kill him together. Now you're just running out. You also heard the flash come over. Let me actually just rewind this. Boom, flash came in. And it didn't blind you. You see where the flash popped, right? It flashed right over the wall. And normally people flash over like this if they're gonna peek the corner. Okay, you didn't see anyone, you're going out. But that flash indicates that someone wants to peek somewhere. You should have held the corner maybe a bit longer making sure nobody swung on that flash, and then you can expect someone to maybe be on the right side. People are throwing a flash for a reason, but you could have held that corner a bit longer, maybe then swung out, slowly clear the angles one by one, because right now you're just giving away a 50-50 fight, which actually wasn't in your favor, because you were looking towards pit. Okay, it sounds like the Vi Long again. Flashes are ready. Has it. Okay, so the molly didn't hit long doors and he saw that no one crossed. This already indicates that, okay, all right, they gave up long. Long's free. But I don't know why he would run through that molotov now. Because now you're 68 HP and only one bullet from an M4 in the head will kill you. And just wait at the molly. Your opera's holding that corner anyways. Like, there's no need to rush it just yet. I forgive you. Interesting. Kenji should probably... Okay, he is in pit holding the side angle, which is good. You can just wait it out. No need to rush things yet. At this point, what are you, what are you trying to do here? Oh, Mitcha is set up to be the lurker, all right? He's expecting to lurk shorts or to lurk shorts. But your entire team is still hanging around in this corner and you're already pushing up. Like, you want to communicate that you want to push together. If your team's still hanging around here, you don't want to push by yourself, all right? You want someone or some people to come with you. You can have Kenji posted up in the pit angle holding the CT swing or the side swing. Like, he can cover you guys for anyone swinging around this side. And now you're just running up, no cover, without teammates, trying to fight everything by yourself. And now it just works out because you hit a nice one deep, but in a team setting, it's, it's risky stuff. You could also just wait with your team around here and wait for Mitchett to maybe set a lurk in. You guys put some pressure on CT. We're just going in. Okay, now you do wait for your teammate. Smoke comes in. Mitch uh, still setting up in mid, which is nice. I think he heard him. And you get the cross. All right. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest jumping up like this. Uh, I sometimes do this myself. It's not the best of jumps. You want to clear it like this, okay? You don't want to instantly jump up or you, you jiggle Gandalf, which is this angle. You jiggle it. You don't see anyone. Okay, swing a bit wider. Don't see anyone. Don't see anyone. Okay, then you're going to be thinking maybe behind the box. You swing wider. But you also want to be careful short. If you get barely any kills towards long, so let's say no one is killed here and you didn't kill anyone here and they just gave up A, there's going to be like some sort of ninja play coming out. Maybe there's going to be a guy hiding behind the box. Maybe there's going to be a guy hiding Gandalf. But just jumping up on the box like that, with a deagle? No. If you jump with a deagle, your accuracy is just gone. Again, you're just kind of going out by yourself. What do you want to do? You want to just entry frag and get B open? I guess it works right now, but it's it's kind of dangerous for yourself to be going out like this. Because if someone's playing an off angle and he kills you, he's grabbing your AK and getting out of there. And there's no way for your team to trade you right there. If you want to go out by yourself, it's better to be a lurker. So someone like you coming out of tunnel while your team is putting pressure elsewhere on the map. So like if they're running up short, if they're like going up low, then maybe you can stab them in the back and have the only guy on B getting killed. But maybe there was some info as well from the from the opera saying like, oh, I only want to be, I don't know. And this is what I mean. Now you get picked off. Your team is not even close. Where's your team? One guy's in mid, one guy's in tunnel. The other guy's still holding long doors, and the bomb is going by itself into the B-bomb side. Middle, 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 
middle. Okay, now his team is back in my map. Nice nade. Nice. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, now Dmitri is going for a long pick. Nice bunny off. No one out long. Bro, you're going very fast. Bro, you're going in like a Ferrari, bro. Anets, T spawn, Mitcha holding long doors, Mirai holding mid doors, Kenji. He's not even around the corner. And you're already here. For example, what if they had a guy playing on A side or playing a CT and there's a guy car and you try and shoot them by yourself. CT guy can just peek and kill you. And there's no way for Kenji to shoot a bullet that warps around the corner and kills this guy or shoot a bullet that warps around the corner and kills this guy. And now they just kind of have to give a ball. You see, you had all the control in the world and now it's just kind of awkward. And once again, they do oh, actually win this round. I don't know what what keeps happening here, but. Again, very aggressive stuff. At this point, you're already in a very good position. You came out the mid doors. They probably don't know about you and you can just hide in this corner. I don't get it. You just go wide like this. Like there's a lot of solo plays being made, but you want to work with your team. For example, if you come out the mid doors and you get into this position, you're already in a very strong position. Because let's say your team's running up A, putting a lot of pressure, this guy and this guy are going to have to rotate to help their team. So they're going to be running in through here. Now they're probably not going to do that shifting. So instead of running out, like trying to spin bolt everyone around you, just hide here. Let them walk past and then you shoot them in the back. Like you want the odds to be in your favor. You want them to think mid is clear because if people run past and they check this, they think mid's clear. Because if you're sitting here, gun half in the wall, they can't see you. All right, now they're gonna be doing a short stack. Okay, running out long, come on long, check the car. Long clear. All right, your teammates are coming in. Now there's no rush. You see? You're with your team, you're not pushing up too fast, and Mirai could trade you out if you do die there. Nice. Watch out for Gandalf, you only killed one guy on A. There's no info. Watch out for Gandalf. Okay, he does seem to have an idea of that someone could be there and it does get checked, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, that was just unfortunate. But there's no need to push there. Like, I get that you want to be aggressive and keep holding W, but this is a headshot angle. If they have deagles, they can just be very annoying and be like, Whoop. boom, headshot, boom, headshot. You can't kill them. It's a headshot versus headshot angle. Now, let's say if you're playing ramp and goose and long and car, they're going to have to swing you guys. Like, I know you want to keep rushing, but that's not counter strike. Like, you want to also chill and hold the bomb side and not give anything away. See, now Mira gets aggressive, and now a round that should have been you guys' round by far gets turned into a 2v2 because people are getting too aggressive. Now this gets dangerous. He's trying to shoot the smoke. One guy is going to get on the defuse. But Anna came in with the flank. At this point, you should stick it. Okay, let's check the YouTube. You got a smoke to flash. What do you want to do? Your team's still rotating all over the map. Bombs coming over to tunnels. No one on platform. No one towards the barrels. But what, what's your teammate doing here? He's holding a flash. Okay. Looks to be an entry flash. See now? Now Dimitri's being a bit more patient. He's not running out. He's just waiting for a mistake from the CT side. And Bestian looks to be going to make a mistake here. And he makes a mistake. Lurk smoke comes in. Decent flash. And now he can get to car. Or play this off angle, which is fine too. Your 6 HP spamming a smoke. Come on, man. Like, what do you expect? To kill a guy instantly? The guy with the M4 has 100 HP. If you shoot the smoke, he can just spray back. And he only hits, has to hit one bullet. And that bullet could even be shot through the door and it would still kill you. At that point, maybe it's better to play a headshot angle. Like, maybe stay around here. Hide behind the car, maybe. Although, car is dangerous because it does get flushed out by mollies and stuff. This angle should be also fine. Have one guy set up here holding window. One guy set up here holding tunnel. And you sort of have like a... I don't even know what to call this. It's the uh, the magic uh, long rectangle. But now you turn it into a 1v2 and there's no way your teammates clutch this against the 100 HP M4, right? Smoke City, smoke City. Can I flash now? 
What's Kenji doing in mid with all of the util? If one guy had to be at longers, it had to be Kenji. Like he could have molly car, he could have smoked CT, he could have flashed into CT, he could have naded short. And now it's just you guys with a shit smoke. See now Kenji is coming in with a flank, this line into the round, and he still has all of his util. Like what's that bro? Oh, I just noticed the bomb's coming down here. That's actually crazy. Now he could actually use the util. But the smoke gets pushed. Okay, this seems to be a B contact play. You saw my sight. Okay, let me actually go back here and break this down real quick because this wasn't the best way of taking the B bomb site. Okay, you spot the guy on site. Senpai has a smoke, Mitch has a smoke, and you have a smoke. Like the moment you come out, like this and no one's contesting you have a guy smoke door or maybe even even have a guy smoke door from inside tunnel because even if there's only one guy on the site if the b door is open you can pretty much count that as two guys holding b but now you can see what's going on here kenji is making a 1v1 with the guy's side you guys are trying to make 1v1s fighting the guy door and it's just it's just not good it, it's a crossfire okay killing mid one more on b sure dead most of the time, if this guy gets killed, this guy just got a pick on B, you can expect the guy to be CT. So the moment Mirai kills this guy on short, there's probably going to be a gap on A somewhere. Like, if this guy's playing long, this is a major gap. All right? Just get the bomb and go up. Two shorts. I didn't buy a side, I didn't buy Look at this. You're still fighting mid while your teammate Mirai is running up. You got to support him. Like, you're just giving them time to actually fight this. Um, oh, don't do that with the deagle. Just run with your knife out. Jump across. Make sure you don't take any damage and take the ramp control. Oh, dangerous angle to be playing. You see? You don't have a lot of HP. I and mean, you're playing an angle which is not a headshot angle. So you're kind of wasting that HP. Although, you do have an op. But if you miss this shot, you're guaranteed dead most of the time. Flash does hit that shot okay you see the last guy short don't commit i don't even have to tell you man that was just don't buy up moment I mean, we've seen dimitri play very aggressive on the city side or on the t side so let's see how he plays on the city side here okay now they're going for the long take let's see how they do this flash is good long control taken just smoke the doors you have a smoke your teammate doesn't have a smoke just smoke the doors for him be nice Okay, sort of a little bait coming in. Let's okay. see if they fall for it. They don't. If you would have smoked the door there, you would have helped your team. But instead, you smoke long. shorts. I mean, like, it's, it's more important to smoke long doors there. Let's say they are in long doors. Let's say they're waiting here. And you smoke it like this. They're going to have to worry about every angle. Here. They're going to have to worry about this angle. They're going to have to worry about an off angle. They're going to have to worry about pretty much everything here. If the smoke doesn't get thrown in, they know you're only going to be playing on the right side here. They don't have to worry about the left. And you know how much of a difference that makes? This smoke, however, achieves pretty much nothing. You have Anit in here calling the info. If you, even if you play rap with the MP9, you don't have to hold this angle. Like, you could just spot for info and let them come close. Because the MP9 is more efficient from close range. Window, window green, window. <laughs> what are you doing? Dmitry, Bratan, what are you doing, Vlad? Your team here. You running like Dolboyop, trying to kill everyone. Just wait for your Mom team, done. man. Mom you gotta good. stop playing solo. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the main mistake I'm seeing here. Okay. Again, just very aggressive stuff. Mara, uh, Mirai is just staying here. And this is fine, by the way. It's fine to stay here as long as this guy stays alive. It's kind of like fishing, okay? He has a fishing rod set up like this, okay? And you're just you're just a bait. But the moment the bait's gone, the big fish aren't gonna try and hunt it because they know the bait's not there anymore. They don't want to go and eat bread which isn't there, you know. You do, they don't want to eat ghost bread. They want to actually get the nutrients. But let's say you kill someone in a car, nice. You you hide here, they make you make sure they don't come CT. And then these people lower are gonna be like, oh, there's a guy CT. Oh, I'm gonna go kill him. They're gonna run out. They're not gonna expect this guy to be so close. I'm gonna predict that they're still gonna run out mid door. Like one dead. So in the end, Mirai does get that kill. But now it doesn't really matter because these guys are already on A site. They know he's there. 
and this guy's still alive. Imagine if you stayed alive here, you would have let them cross on site and Mira would have still gotten that kill. Now you're in a 2v3 and there's a guy to be isolated here. In some position, it's better to just stay alive, let the round unfold before you try and make a play. Just pull out your weapon. You can just hide a CT. You don't have to go close to the door. I guess going close to the door is a nice position to be in, but you're this late into the round. Running through a smoke and like, okay, maybe you could have gotten that kill, but your teammate was reloading. Like he can't help you. Okay, Dimitri, play B. Molly. Okay. Okay, some nice flashes. Long controls taken. Go smoke it. Don't molly it, just smoke it. A molly is more expensive than a smoke. And it does weigh less because a molly is only active for like seven seconds, whereas a smoke is active for 12 seconds. And a smoke completely blocks the vision. So Mitchell could come here. Okay. And Mitchell did smoke it himself. Yes, you think this okay. So you get flashed in on short. It's just unlucky. No one was looking at it. They were both hiding. Like the flash could have been good. You had no info there. Dimitri. Bratan, what doing? Wait team. Wait team, man. Wait team, man. What doing? Let's say they are in B and you only have USPs. Go for exits. And then when they go and save because they don't want to die because of the bomb, then you can maybe kill them and grab an AK. Nice. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, nice molly. Okay, now this might be the last buy round they're gonna be doing. Dimitri definitely not having the best of games. Although he does have 60 ADR, which is pretty good. One control's been taken. Maybe throw a smoke down. <laughs> like, Dimitri, what are you doing, man? You're giving away your position. Like, you should be happy that you're alive here still. <laughs> okay, they actually got one more buy-in. MP9, flash, smoke, molly. Okay, one flash for long. Flash comes in. Long clear. And they're coming in B. 3v3 retake. Alright, this is doable. What if I'm the problem? I don't think he's the problem. Dimitri, what are you doing? I didn't want to tell you this, but I think you might be the problem here. You're running into B once again in a 1v3 for yourself, while your teammates are here with you. So you have a smoke. That smoke is completely fine, but you also have a molly. Your teammates are still here. What you could say is like, okay, do you have flash? It's a lot easier to retake B if you have flashes. Just throw a molly here towards car. And then car's clear. These angles can't see door and you can get a lot of space. Now, let's say Mitchell or Senpai throws a flash over the door, which pops here. You can get in very easily. And Mirai flashes after you go in. And the flash isn't even good, bro. Like, what is this? You throw a flash this high, it's not gonna blind people holding door. Maybe it's gonna blind a car guy, but it even did it. It's better to throw a flash from further away from like here, which lands a bit more towards this area. Talk about blood. And now they're just running in. Like, instead of retaking 3v3, you guys are making it look like it's a, it's three 1v3s. So I kind of want to say, yes, you were kind of the problem for this game. I've seen you push in solo multiple times, even on retakes on T-Site. Like, you have a tendency to press W a lot. You haven't really figured out the concept of crossfires and being hidden and having the surprise factor. So that's something you want to work on. Now, have you actually learned something from this video? Make sure to press the like button. Uh, if you have any feedback for me for the next demo review, make sure to leave it. I'm sorry this 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 demo review might be a bit serious, but I'm trying to teach people stuff. Okay, that's why that's why we got to be serious here. It's not like all schools all jokes and stuff. No, this is Counter Strike School. This is Neox School. This ain't Pasha Biceps London School. This is Neox Counter Strike Coaching School. Let me know if there's anything you want to apply to these demo reviews. Uh, because I read all the comments, by the way, for the people that don't know, I actually do read all the comments. So yeah, hopefully you guys learned something new. I'll catch you guys in the next video and see you guys later.